it's Tanya and I'm here again with our weekly sketch inspiration in the Hip Kit Club Facebook group and there's the sketch and I have this beautiful photograph of my daughter that I'm using and I took one of the January cut files which is that beautiful dream catcher and I shrunk down a couple of them and then welded them together and came up with that little one and now I'm trying to decide what I'm going to put behind it and I thought maybe that crisscross paper but then I thought maybe I would try the spotty paper so I duly do that and think hmm don't really like that either and then I thought maybe I could put those circles there, but then I noticed, hang on a second, hang on a second, there's that really pretty pink flowery paper behind the crisscross ones, and I thought, hey, that looks pretty, because in my, well, not in, on, on my daughter, <laughs> the clothes she's wearing, has, it does have some pretty pink flowers on it so I thought that that could work well I am ignoring the bright blue balloon behind her that does not feature in my color scheme at all I think we can do that sometimes can't we just ignore something yeah if it doesn't fit we just ignore <laughs> so now um I like it but I'm a bit worried about the background because it is so white so then I thought maybe I could do that but if you look at it, it's it's really quite hectic, isn't it, with all those spots. <laughs> so I thought, no, that's not going to work. So I went back to my white background and then I had a brainwave and thought, OK, let me put half of that really pretty, pretty polka dot paper on the left. And then I have my cut file on the right. And that was a branding strip and the pink behind and then that all just ties in so nicely I think anyway I had fun making this layout I was so inspired by the photograph because it's so pretty you know it's it's the colors are beautiful and she looks lovely and then this whole dream catcher thing so yes I was very very inspired <laughs> As opposed to other times when I'm seriously not inspired. No, the reason why I'm going on a little bit like that is because the the feel of the layout is so soft and dreamy because that photograph is so soft and dreamy. And that beautiful wood title that I could use, I mean, it just all tied in nicely. And I did contemplate the flowers, as you saw there, but it was a bit busy. So then I thought, hang on, I know in the Moonstruck collection there are butterflies and feathers so I thought let's see if I can add something more to my dream catcher cut file that I created because one of the I do remember one of the design team members actually did she put the feathers on and it looked beautiful but I couldn't get mine to look beautiful no I mean look at that it's just it's just wrong <laughs> I think I figured it was wrong because it was too busy that cut file with the with the paper behind it is already quite a striking element on the page and then I went on this mad kick of Anne's because I love ampersands and I thought maybe I could have my title as and follow your dreams <gasps> but I don't do that no it's just follow your dreams now I did back the cut file with some fun foam as you saw there that bright pink stuff just to elevate it slightly because the title at the bottom left is is dimensional so I figured I'd better get a bit more dimension there. And now I've got uh, sort of that dark blue elements going on. And I need three because I like doing that thingy of threes. So I figured I could use that uh, scallop, little scallop border under my photograph that grounds the photograph nicely. And now I'm just moving things around and I'm back on the butterfly kick. But those are too big. And then I'm back on the pink butterflies again but it's just not working for me and I'm not quite sure why and I bring the feathers back in but again again Tanya what are you thinking actually it doesn't look too bad <laughs> but at the time I didn't like it so I will take the feathers away it's just too busy don't you agree I think so. I think it just, it was overwhelming my cut file and I really liked that element, but I am soldiering on with these butterflies, trying to make it work. Actually looking at that, it's not too bad, but for some reason in my mind, it just was not working. I think it's just too, too, too much, too much pink maybe. 
Oh, but I do, I do get butterflies on here. You'll see soon. I don't know. I'm trying everything. You know, you've got to give me a hundred percent for perseverance. Ah, here we go. I knew there were feathers on those cork elements, and then I realised. Hang on a second. There's butterflies on there too. So I do get my butterflies on, and I think that it works better because they are not so in your face. They're more subtle, so they blend in more. Anyway, in my mind, that's how it's going. And yes, I thought I didn't like the wood. Well, obviously I like the wood, but I thought maybe I can colour it a little bit to, you know, give it a bit more. Oh, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> interest. <laughs> give it some interest. And oh, my Heidi Shine is not spraying nicely at all. I need to have a look at it. I think the, the nozzle must have got clogged up with the, you know, the shiny part of the Heidi Shine. And I am glue gunning my title down because number one, I want it to stay there, and number two, I've been dying to use that little glue pen forever since I got it. And yeah, there's a bit of a learning curve with that mm. because I think I managed to get glue everywhere. <laughs> and the reason why I am putting those enamel triangles on is for the color. I needed a pop of colour just to, I don't know, to, to finish off the page. And those are exclusive little words that were designed for us in the kits and I wanted to bring in another pop of that orangey colour that I've got on my enamel dots but it's not quite the right shade. So then I abandon that idea and I bring the arrow back again and I abandon that idea too. But then I got those little words on so I quite like that, you know, just behind the butterflies. And I, so that I've now got my grouping of three of the dark blue and then I brought in a bit more of those triangles. I did briefly contemplate splattering on here, but then I don't do it because because I think it would have... I was a little scared of making a boo-boo and, you know, spoiling my page because I love this page. Oh, and what an idiot. I cut that 3 by 4 card because I wanted to do journaling behind the photograph and then I thought I could round the edges of that important, but, um, you know, that doesn't work. It doesn't fit into it at all. <laughs> So I abandoned that idea as well and then just popped it behind the page and I liked the addition that it gave and I will do journaling on it so that it can be pulled out. And there we go. There's my layout. I do hope you enjoyed this. I hope you will join us in the Facebook group. We have tons of fun in there and you can show us what you do with the sketch. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.